a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, this is Auntie, and I am here to continue in our series, Christmas Tree of Life overcoming Christmas depression. If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for being here with your auntie. And to all of my faithful nieces and nephews who have been here with me from the long haul, thank you so much for your continued support. This is our series that I have been doing on my other page, Auntie's Advice Without the Apostrophe. And tonight I wanted to make sure that in my Christmas series that I shared it with you, we have been learning how to overcome holiday depression and um, move to a place of happiness, joy, and peace in our during the holidays and for our new year for 2018. I know that many of you all probably have a lot of things that you are wanting to do for the holidays, things that you want to overcome that are coming up in the new year. You may um, be already thinking about joining the gym and changing your life. At least I know I am. Okay. Kirk. Auntie got to you know. Okay, but anyway, I know that there are things that you're anticipating um, in the new year. And you know what? Some people during this time, they just want to these these 25 days to just hurry up and go by so they can get to the 26th day and just pass the holidays by. But you know what? Life doesn't have to be like that. In our Christmas tree series, what I have been teaching you is how to overcome that depression by buying ornaments that you will put on your Christmas tree or holiday direct, um, um, decorations, however you decorate your home. That will be meaning for you for years to come. A lot of times we go out to the store and we purchase Christmas ornaments just basically because we have a color scheme or we've decided that, you know, when we're in the store, something is really pretty. But what I would like to teach you is how to purchase ornaments that mean something to you in your life. When you go back in that box next year during this time of the season and you pull an ornament out, hopefully that ornament will mean something to you. And so this particular Christmas tree is my second Christmas tree in my home. And it is the one that I have purchased just for this channel and just for you. And each year, hopefully, we'll be able, this will be an annual thing, where we'll be able to add more ornaments to our tree. So far, we have four ornaments that adorn our beautiful holiday Christmas tree. The first ornament that we have that adorns our Christmas tree is the microphone. Learning how to use your voice one step, one day at a time. The, the ornament that accompanied that was a blue spot sparkly turquoise stiletto heel and that one was say, taking that step one step at a time and so you know what you can do you can take that step with your stilettos on boo and you know what you can rock that thing out a lot of times we um we have family members friends co-workers or whatever and we don't know how to communicate we don't know how to use our voice and so we feel helpless and we feel useless in people's lives because we have learned how to silence ourselves but let me tell you something silence um, oftentimes makes you a victim even when you don't want to be and so we have learned you know in our first series that you have to use your voice. Words have power. They have power to create life and death in your life. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are creating an atmosphere and an environment in your life that helps you move to the next level. Our next ornament that we had on the tree, of course, was our little, um, let me see if I can take that off, take this off the tree. And I better not. Let me just move the camera was our cotton candy. Our cotton candy, um, we brought this one because what we wanted to express was just being a transformed into something. You know, we all are, are, are created as women to men. And some of us, you know, we feel like we're something different. And you know what? 
whatever rocks your boat, that's fine. But you know what? We are, we are brought into this world. We are trained up by our parents or by who, someone, and we find ourselves not knowing who we are. Cotton candy started off as sugar. And you know what? When you take that sugar and you spin it in air, you attach it to some air, you know what? It creates and it becomes something different. You have the opportunity to change your life. Whatever is wrong in your life, you have the opportunity to turn that thing around. And so that is why we have our cotton candy. Our, our last ornament that we went over together was our grocery card. And I don't know if you can see the grocery card on the tree. I'm hoping that you can. It's a cute little grocery card. And it has um, food and presents and stuff like that. And so with that one, what we were basically saying and defining with that particular ornament is what do you have in your cart? What's in your basket? What are those things that are in your life that are um, things that you don't need? They're not necessities. They're not things that's going to make or break you if you don't have them. And also, you know what? What is it, what is it um, that you have in your cart that maintains your family or helps your family? Um, through this series, I'm hoping that you understand and that you learn that everything in your life has a purpose or should have a purpose. And if it doesn't have a purpose, it may be something that you absolutely can do away with. Y'all, I'm so sorry about the lighting up in this mother... Okay? My lighting is on the way. Okay? But <laughs> for some reason, it's casting this ugly yellow hue. But anyway, so there's some things in your life that you are absolutely going to be able or to go to have to do away with and I'm praying that during this series that you'll be able to do away with those things that are in your basket those things that are in your life that are overwhelming you and those things that are in your life that you can't even afford how many times have we gone to the checkout line only to find out that we have spent more money than what we intended to spend okay girl, I know I have <laughs> and you know what some of us have the boldness and the tenacity to just say you know what I'm gonna take this out take that off take this off and we hang hold up the line where there are other people who have those things, those unnecessary things in your cart and you're too embarrassed and you don't want to hold up the line. You don't want to make anybody else uncomfortable. So you know what? You go ahead and buy it knowing that you don't need it and then you get home and you have buyer's regret. That is not going to be our life. If you want more on those particular um, ornaments, you can go over again, like I said, to my other channel, and you'll be able to see that. This video, too, will be lifted, you know, uploaded onto that channel. So without further ado, I want to go into our next ornament. The next ornament that I have that I thought was significant enough to go on our holiday tree, our tree of life, is an umbrella. And so I'm hoping that you all can see this umbrella. I know this lighting is just, it, it was, it's so poor. But I'm hoping that you can see it. It's a beautiful pink umbrella. As you all know, <laughs> pink is one of my favorite colors. My favorite, all-time favorite color, of course, is black and white. But pink is the accent. Like, mm, mm, it just makes me so happy. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I have this this um, umbrella. Let me tell you why this is a significant um, ornament that is going on my Christmas tree of life, your Christmas tree of life. Oftentimes in life, we have things that burden us, things that um, we can't seem to handle, and we call them our rainy season. Some of us have more rainy seasons than the other ones. Some of us have longer seasons in the rain than others. There have been many times, and I'm not going to say one or two, but there have been many times in my life when I have to endure a rainy season. And I thought that the rain would never stop. I thought that, you know, the sun would never shine. And I felt like I was going to be overcome by the things that were happening in my life. See, they were things that I could change and some things I couldn't change in my life. And so, you know, when it rains, it pours sometimes. And you're like, golly, if one other thing happens, it's going to break me down and now I'm not going to be able to survive this. But you know what? The sun is going to come out. Eventually, if you ride through the storm, You'll ride to the end of it. 
You know, a lot of times you hear people in church say, oh my God, I've been going through. And you know what? Continue to go through. Don't just stay and waddle in the storm that you in. And even if you are in the storm, know that prayer is your covering. You know, I don't know who you believe in. You could believe in Buddha. You could believe in Jesus. You could believe in God. You can believe in Allah. Whoever you believe in, you know what? I respect your religion and I respect who you believe in. Auntie is not here to judge. But whoever you believe in and whoever you pray to, whoever that deity is in your life, they serve as an umbrella for you, an umbrella of protection to cover you during that rainy period. Now, a lot of times when we go outside, we get our feet wet. We may, you know, if we're caught without our umbrella, you know, it's, it's a little harder to deal with when you're soaking wet. But when you have a covering that is over you, as you're going through your rainy season, it makes enduring the rain easier. Let me tell you something. Rain will not always last in your life. There is someone who is covering you always in prayer. I know for me, as your auntie, I am always and continuously praying for you and praying for this channel. I got your back in prayer. I am your umbrella. So although you may get wet from the storm and the storm may last a little longer than what you think, know that there's a covering over you and that you are not utterly destroyed. Every day when you get up, you have an opportunity to do it over. And sometimes, you know what? You get in the rain and you make a decision that I'm going to move on anyway. We have a tendency to allow the rain to hit the window when it lulls us to sleep. And we just make a decision that, you know what, I just want to stay here. This is where I want to stay. But how many of you all know you can't stay in your rainy season? At some point, the sun will shine and you will be able to move on. But knowing that you have that umbrella of protection to cover you, to make everything okay, to make sure that the top of your head, your mind is covered is everything as long as we stay in our right mind we got another opportunity don't let nobody steal your joy don't let your rainy season cause you to forget all the sunny days you've had and even if you are in a rainy season remember that you are covered in prayer and so this umbrella for me represents prayer it represents the covering of a mighty God, a deity that is beyond me, who sits high and looks low and is covering me always. The Bible that I read, what I believe, says, I will be with you always, even unto the end of of the world. It also says love covers a multitude of sin and failure. This umbrella represents that covering of prayer and that covering of love. And so as we hang this ornament on our Christmas tree, I am praying that you got something out of that because I feel like I, you know, I don't really, you know, I'm not really getting the message to you and I hope I am. I think that I'm so cut and freaking distracted from the lighting in this room because like I like like I'm sick of the lighting in this room. But anyway. So the next ornament that I have that I want to put on our Christmas tree of life our wings. I don't know if you all can see these beautiful rain wings. It's pink, of course. Can you all see that? Mm, God, oh, this light. <laughs> wings. Let me tell you something. If your life is anything like mine, you've had individuals in your life who have tried to hold you down your whole life. 
who have told you that you would never be anything, that you would amount to nothing, that you would never be successful, that you would always be like your mama, that you would always be like your daddy, that you would never ever be anything more than what you are today. That all your failures, your shortcomings, and your faults are going to always be with you. And they are right there, Johnny, on the cotton freaking spot to remind you of every time you failed. Every time you didn't do something they wanted you to do. Every time you made a mistake. They are quick to remind you. They want to hold you down. And oftentimes, we don't know why people want to do that. You're my family. You're my friend. Why would, not, why would you not want to see me with the best? Why would you speak negative words over my life? Why would you not want me to overcome every bad mistake that I've ever made? Why would you not be the person who would lift me up when I'm down? Why are you the person that want to keep me stuck right where I am? And sometimes we buy the lie. We buy the lie instead of realizing that every day when we get up, we have the opportunity to reinvent ourselves. To be more today than we were yesterday. We have the power in our mouth, in our hands, in our thoughts. To be more, to do more. God says, I have forgiven you seven times, 77. I don't take account for your sins as long as you repent and get it right and you do better. But you got those people in your life and y'all know what I'm talking about. We all got them who we call haters who are drinking the hater raid, the Kool-Aid that does not benefit us. I know your mama. Wasn't about nothing. But that doesn't make you like your mama. And we've got to learn to take authority over negative words that have been spoken and maybe that are still being spoken over your life. You have to know that you are allowed to spread your wings and fly. Spread your wings and fly and become more than you were yesterday. Much, much more than you have ever imagined a, or dreamed. The word says that all things are possible to him who believes. What do you believe? You have the right to live your life as freely as you want. You can't allow people in their hate and their jealousy, their backbiting, their busyness, their busybodiness and other people's matters and affairs prevent you from flying and be the best you that you could ever be. Let me tell you, women and men, if you've taken the time to get this far in the video, fly. Fly above your circumstances. Fly above your education. Fly ab above your geographical location. Be everything that God has for you to be. Live a divine, purpose-filled life every day and fly. Get your wings up off the floor. Don't you let nobody trample on your wings. Don't let anybody take your visions and your dreams from you. You fly. Fly higher than the sky. Anything that you can imagine to do, you can have it. The word says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper 
and be in health even as you're so prosperous. You have the right to fly. I don't care what your grandmother said. She didn't know any better. I don't care what your uncle said. He didn't know any better. I don't care what life has handed you and who it's come through. It's time for you to fly. It, I know I seem dramatic, but I'm telling you, you all, I am talking to myself out here on this YD. And I am trying to keep it together. We are all joining and knitted together. What affects your life absolutely affects mine. And I'm going to tell you. About 10 years ago, I decided I'm a fly. I decided I will not stay where society says I have to stay. I will not be where society says I have to be. I will not keep up the pathology of not being a good woman, not being a good mother, not being an honorable woman, not being true to who I was. I had to look inside myself and decide to fly. And so now I'm flying a year ago. Around the same time, my desire was to have a YouTube channel. I didn't know what to name it, didn't know what to do. I didn't even know what I was going to say. I didn't know if people would like it. I didn't know if they would be drawn to it. I didn't know. I had so many people that I asked to do it with me. I wanted to partner with people. I wanted to do, you know, this, and I wanted to do makeup, and I wanted to do um, lifestyle, and I wanted to do this. And you know what? I decided to do something different. But I allowed myself to fly. I haven't regretted it yet. And I've had the opportunity to meet you and to tell you a year later to fly. So my Christmas ornament that is going on my dream and on our Christmas tree our wings. We fly, y'all. And we're not going to wait till 2018 to make a decision to fly. So our next ornament that is going up on our tree right here by our little puffy things. They're so cute. Our wings. Because we flying. We up out of here. We are out of that old situation. You can't hold me down no more, boo. I'm flying. I so hope that you all got something out of this. I just wanted to share it on this channel because you know what? It's Christmas time. And I wanted to make sure in the middle of us cussing, <laughs> and I can fool that we remember the season and that we remember the real reason for it and remember one thing that you know what God said I will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you did ask or think according to the power that works in you what powers in you? What are you working? Let me tell you something. After the rain is gone, fly. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this. I love you. And until next time, huh?